Hello, Sam Slishman in the Heart Hospital Emergency Department with a few of my colleagues, uh, Sherry Minaletti, Robert McDevitt, Yvonne Metzger, and I'm just going to demonstrate use of a new type of traction splint. So here's the ankle hitch. It attaches to the lower limb. It fits over small limbs and large ski boots. This is the groin strap. The female buckle should sit anterior to the thigh. And just snaps in place. This is the course adjustment here. And lengthen it to as much as you need. Stretch it out as far as you can. Lock it in place. And then this is the fine adjustment here. So basically what I often say to patients is let's pull this cord together until we feel maximum pain relief. So pull this direction here. And basically the leg is being stretched and then locked in place. So now there's traction applied to the leg. And if needed, you can let go of the cord. If needed, if there's too much, um, too much traction, it can be easily adjusted. Just least a little bit. Um, you may also do that if the, you know if there's lack of pulses in the foot or um, tingling in the toes. But the point is, it's just easily adjusted. There's no overhang beyond the leg, so um, that makes it easier to fit into helicopters, baskets, small ambulances, and the like. I'll demonstrate again on the other leg, sort of a different, different approach. So. Suppose that you step on a landmine um, and you don't have a lower leg anymore. This can be applied just proximal to the to the calf. The sticking everything. It has to be applied fairly snug because you don't have, you know, you don't want it to slip on down. I put this towel here because you can apply this inside the thigh and that keeps the straps kind of clean and it may add a little bit of comfort to it. Again, the female buckle sits anterior to the thigh. Now, basically, that's the course adjustment here. You don't pull yet. <laughs> Lock that in place. And then, now you can pull this together, lock in place, and she has traction on her femur, despite lack of a, a foot. Hello, I'm going to demonstrate that I can apply this to my own leg. And we will take an x-ray of it. And in the film, I will show what the what the splint looks like on x-ray so lock that in place traction here okay and now we're going to take a, an x-ray of my leg with the splint. Okay. Oh, that's just fine. That's good. And a little lead to be nice. All right, so here is the splint. Um, you can see it a little bit. This is what bone looks like. And this is lead. This is covering my groin. And um, and that's it. These are the two pins that come together to uh, lengthen the splint. This is one of the clamps, the screws for the clamps. And uh, this is a little abnormality in my leg just to prove that it's my leg. 
uh, exostosis is what that's, what that's called. Um, so if you learn nothing else from this, you learn a new word, exostosis. All right, see ya.